I am just a mess. Hey y'all. This is juicy. First, I just wanna Hey. First I just wanna show y'all how my teacup has no handle. You see that? It broke off. Yeah, I'm keeping it real over here. I'm keeping it real over here. Okay? It broke off, but this is my favorite cup because it's huge. It's green, my favorite color. And I can I hold more tea in it. Oh, that is so good. That's pomegranate green tea with six sugars and lemon. The bomb. The bomb baby. So, today I'm going to be talking about the top ten men and women that you should avoid. But right now I'm going to be talking about the top ten women that men should avoid. And I'm going to start off with the religious fanatics. Okay, let me just start off by saying there's nothing wrong with believing in a higher power. I believe in God. I want to meet who believes in God. Um, in fact, having a moral foundation is good for um, for marriage and good mother material for men um, who's looking to settle down. But too much of anything is just that, too much. If you sleep and when you wake up, you got holy oil on your forehead. And she got her hands on you praying. It ain't nothing happened. Nothing happened. No demons came out of you. You know, you ain't shot, no killed, nobody did nothing wrong. You know, maybe, you know, you should, do, that's a warning sign. Okay? Because, let me just tell you, if your girl is quoting strip scriptures from the book of Luke, and you're quoting verses from Uncle Luke, there is going to be a conflict of interest. Okay? Seriously, it's just not going to work. Number two is the I want to get married, baby obsessed type of girls. Okay, if you ever watch What Chili Wants, then you know exactly who I'm talking about. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have a family, but you don't discuss things like that on a first date or within the first five minutes that you meet someone. Um, some women don't realize that it take, you have to get to know someone. And that's a mistake that a lot of women that are like that, they make because they're like, oh, he got good here. Oh, he's smart. He got a degree. Oh, he got good teeth. Oh, his mother is this, his father is that. Oh, they don't have, um, you know, they don't have this or he doesn't have that. Or he don't have these issues or he doesn't have any baby mama drama or anything like that or any other children. So what? That don't mean he's not a loony. After a while, you'll find out how loony he is. He'll have other issues that you never even thought of. But by then, it'll be too late because you don't knock, you don't knock her up. Or not, uh, you don't have a baby by him. So watch out for those type of women that are crazy about getting married and crazy about having a baby. Okay? That's a red flag right there. Number three is the gold digger, which is common sense. But I'm going to just say this. There's nothing wrong with a woman who wants a man that has financial stability or wanting a man that can provide for them for their future offspring. Okay? Because stability is attractive. I've said that before on Facebook and I meant that. Stability is very attractive. However, <laughs> the problem is the women who don't bring anything to the table. Okay? How do you want something for someone but you can't give them anything? Okay? Watch out for women like that because the men that actually get the gold diggers are the men that flash their money more than they flash their personality. Men, stop doing that. Stop, oh, I got this. Oh, I got a G57. Oh, I'm about to get a Ferrari next year. Oh, I got this deal. Oh, I got cheese. Oh, I just spent 700 on these shoes. I mean, first of all, I'm not impressed by any of that because I think you's a doggone fool if you spend over a certain amount of money on anything because it's never that serious. Okay, and I don't care about your appearance. I mean, yes, I do. I want you to look clean, cut, together. This is me personally talking about men. Okay. I want you to be together and I want everything to be right. It's good that I want you to have money and be stable because I don't want you digging in my wallet. However, um, you don't want a woman that wants you for your materials is what I'm trying to say. Okay? In time, you men will end up seeing the light and by then hopefully it won't be too late. By then hopefully you haven't knocked her up or put a ring on her finger which she's tied into your money. I'm just saying. Number four is the angry black woman. Yes, she exists. Okay, there's nothing um, worse than spending time with someone who's mad at the world all the time. Red flag. Okay. 
Um, number five is the pretty girls with problems. Just because a woman is physically attractive doesn't mean she is going to be a good partner. Look at Holly Berry. I'm not judging Holly because I don't know her personally, but I'm talking about her relationship history. If you look at her relationship history, um, you will see a pattern of bad relationships. Not saying that all of the, all her bad relationships had to do with her because the last man she had, he called her a nigger and he said he didn't want to have a nigger child or something like that I heard he said. Sorry, I had to get my tea. But I'm not saying that everything is her fault, but she definitely played a part. Why? Because she's the common denominator out of all her bad relationships. Okay. So men, be very careful with the pretty, with the extra pretty girls. I'm mean, just saying. Number six, the stalker. Un, oh wait, emotionally unstable women. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes they are hard to detect initially because, you know, they always come out nice, you know, stuff like that. But if they start popping up at places unexpectedly, red flag. And I'm not saying that she, um, if you, if you're an artist, say you, you're an artist and you have a show, and she, and you end up seeing her, yeah, and you know that's a surprise. Okay, maybe she's just there to support you. However, if you met her a week ago and you go, you go to your mama house, because hopefully you're still not living with her, and you see this girl having tea and crumpets with your mama, that is a red flag. Red flag. If you at work and you come out or work and say you work late night, okay, 12 o'clock you get off, and she's out there standing and sitting on the hood of your car, red flag. Okay? If you go to take a piss and chick is in your shower, red flag. Some things are not sexy, women. Cut it out. Okay? Plus, any woman, all women should know men like the chase. They don't want, if, it, if it's easy, mm -mm. they lose interest very quickly. Alright? So, man, watch out for the stalkers. Number seven is the party girl. <clears throat> now, if you're just turning 21 and you're just looking to have a good time, then that might be the chick for you. However, if you're a grown man and you're looking for a real woman to settle down with, a potential, um, you know, mother for your child, then a party girl is not the way to go because a real woman, um, you do not... For a oh God, I just stumbled. But you, 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 a real woman doesn't go out seven days a week, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. She ain't in the club every night, shaking her tail feather and grinding on men. All right. So just be careful. That is definitely not a good look. Definitely not. Number eight. Watch out for the women that abuse the system. I'm talking about women that stay on the state for years. And I'm talking about women that take advantage of Section 8 for years. Um, there is nothing wrong with getting assistance, especially when you need it, when you have children. Sometimes people have to put their pride aside and get help until they're able to get on their feet because life happens to people sometimes. And when life happens, there's nothing you can do about it. But you can try your best to get up out of it. You don't stay dormant. You don't abuse the system. And I'm talking about the women that get their state money and go get their hair done. Go buy um, clothes and shoes and don't worry about their kids. When you see them, they got them on the latest this and that. Or they got a new car, but their children ain't got a book to read. Snotty nose, hair ain't done. No decent clothes. Sneakers looking run down. You know, th these are the type of women I'm talking about. Watch out for them. Watch out for the women that has been on the state for about five years and still haven't took an, any uh, up a course at Gateway. Gateway throws financial aid at you. There is no excuse. Okay? Um, watch out for the women that, you know, that are just, you know, dormant. Like I said, don't seem to want to excel. You know, take up a class. Take up a course. Don't stay at Stop and Shop all your life. You know? Uh, or, or, but, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a job either. I'm not saying that. I worked at Shores. Okay? I'm not saying I'm above anybody. I'm not saying it's not wrong with somebody that's working at uh, the, the, the dollar store or whatever. She got a job. That's what's up. You know what I mean? But I'm saying watch out for the women that abuse the system that don't want to elevate in life. You don't want that because the next system will be you. They'll be using you. You'll be their system. Okay? And they will run you ragged. 
because when you get in relationships with some people, they, you, you know, I'm not saying run from people that are not doing good because if you can help somebody, you know, I'm not saying just financially. There's other ways of helping people, I mean, spiritually, emotionally as well is what I'm talking about. But if you're with somebody and you just notice that they're not trying to elevate, move on. That's a red flag. All right. Number nine, watch out for the girls that may have talked to one of your homies. Do your research. Women are sneaky. Let me say it again. Women are sneaky. Do your research. Men are sneaky too. And a lot of the dudes that you might be hanging with are not your true friend. Are not really your boy. Okay? Because a lot of men will keep it to themselves. Even because men like to brag. Brag when they date. You know what I'm saying? When they love to talk about women they had. And they love to lie also on women that they wish they had. Especially if they like a girl that you like. And they was trying more harder than you to get her. And then you get her. Now they really going to hate. They going to lie. Oh, she gave me her number. Oh, she smashed my cousin. Or she did this or that. You know, men lie. They, it's called cock blocking. You know what I'm talking about. But back to number nine. Watch out for the girls that may have smashed your homie. Do your research. Ask questions. If you're with a guy and things seem to be awkward between her and him, ask questions. Matter of fact, do it right then and there. Be like, oh, y'all know each other? What's good? Y'all used to talk or something? I'm like, what's, what's, what's wrong with you? Why are you looking all crazy? Why are you looking all crazy? Ask questions. Because you don't want someone that somebody that you're cool with or you're close with done ran through. Real men want treasures, want gems, uniqueness, pureness. I'm not saying go find a virgin. I'm just saying you want a woman that hasn't been with your cousin, your homeboy. You dig? Number 10 is watch out for a ghetto, loud mouth gossip and shit. Okay? Watch out for her because once things hit the bin between you and her, you'll be next on her list. Definitely not a good look. Plus, the loudest in the room is the weakest. Be very careful for females like that. And I'm not saying be rude to them or be mean to them because a lot of people have emotional problems where they've been neglected by a father, neglected by a mother, abused or molested. And a lot of, like, a lot of chicks that y'all quarrel and whore, she a hoe, she a hoe. You don't know what she's been through. And a lot of women act out sexually because they're trying to fill that void from something that was either stolen from them, from them or something that was never there. When I say stolen from them, if you have been raped, if she had been raped by her father or mother or mother's boyfriend or anybody, anybody, it doesn't matter who did it, that was stolen from her. Something she could never get back. That's a bruise on her soul, her spirit. But God will come in the picture and turn things around and make things good out of something bad. So be careful of who you talk about and what you say about people. You be like, oh, she was just in the club, now she was in church. Maybe she changed. Maybe she changed. People change. You changed, haven't you? You're not still the same person that you were when you were first born. So be careful what you say about men and women and watch out for a get a loud mouth check. <laughs> Okay, so that was number 10. So those are the top 10 women to avoid. If you want anything to add, go ahead and add. Make sure you comment on this video. Next, I will be doing the top 10 men to avoid, and I'm very excited about that. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm very excited about that. Nah. But I thank you guys for listening. I love y'all. I love all your support. And make sure you leave comments. Give me feedback. You know what I'm saying? Let's chat it up. I love discussing with y'all. Y'all are so funny. I love some of y'all comments and everything. So those were the top 10 women. Next, the top 10 men. Here I go.